Hi, I'm Trudy Tapscott. And I'm Britt Bergmeister. And the most important things about becoming a model um, are don't assume you are one before you've gotten to be one. That's the mm -hmm. first thing. I think that, you know, do research. Find out what it takes to be a model. If you want to be a model and you you need to meet the right people, you need to meet the right person. It might only be one person who actually expresses um, the tells you that you have potential. You need someone to take your potential and kind of um, turn you into a model. It's kind of like a, a, taking a, a, a diamond and turn a diamond in the rough and polishing it until it's a gem, because you most people are when you scout them and you find them very first time they don't look like a model they are a teenage girl who has the potential to be a model so that means that you need to learn listen learn um and i would say be aware of who you are you know i think that when you're first starting out in modeling it feels like you have no power um, but really the power is within you. And so I, I couldn't really narrow it down into a, a short form of what the tips are. I think that um, having the person out, being physically ready, having the height, being in great shape, um, being confident, meeting the right people. Listen to yourself. If, if it's too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. Don't let anybody exploit your dreams. Make sure mm -hmm. that you're dealing with people who are actually legit, mm -hmm. who are not going to try and sell you something that you don't need. Right. And that is where sort of the uh, confusion comes in because mm -hmm. you do need to walk, but you need to learn to walk from somebody who's actually knows how to walk, yeah. not somebody who's making money teaching you how to walk. And that's the only yeah. thing they're ever doing is making money teaching you how to walk. Yeah. So it has to be someone who actually, and this is where scouts, um, mother agents in our business, we call somebody the mother agent. That's usually the scout or the person that, it's the very first person you come in contact with in this mm -hmm. business. That would be someone like me, someone like your mother agent, Elmer Olson in Toronto. Yes. Those are the people in, in smaller areas of the United States who look for talent, groom talent, and and basically guide you through what we call the development phase, mm -hmm. which is the beginning of getting in shape, learning how to wear your hair, learning what to do, learning how to pose mm -hmm. or not pose, learning how to, um, how to walk, learning all those things. That's what we do to get you ready to introduce you to an agent in a market like New York or Milan or Paris. So most important, it's a business. There is something to learn. It's not just about how you look. You can be the prettiest girl in your high school. When you walk into a casting in New York City, you're one of many pretty girls. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's competitive, it's tough. You have, to, you have to find the confidence within yourself to stand out without having too much of an attitude of thinking that you deserve to stand out. And I think that that's where the hard work comes in. Mm -hmm. So the tips are, you know, listen to the right people, research, find out research, you know, the, because we have the internet, we have tons of information. That doesn't necessarily mean it's valid. Just because it's on the internet doesn't make it true. But you can find out the right information if you go a little bit further mm -hmm. um, and really dig in and, and read things and read the right websites and pay attention. And I don't know, yeah. you know, really what your tips some would be from, I mean, from 13 to now, like what you would um, say. Yeah, I mean, patience, I mean, obviously. Patience was, was key, you know. I, when I was 13, I wanted to be a model. I wanted to start right away. And my mother agent, Elmer Olson, you know, he, he said, let's wait until you're mature, you know, you're out of high school. He didn't want to start me right away and it'd be okay. He wanted to go when I was perfectly developed and at my most ready. So, you know, it's all about being patient, trusting your elders and people who can help you and will help mold you into what they believe is the perfect opportunity to showcase you to the world, you know? So um, just trust the right people and... Um, and it's kind of about timing. Yeah. It's about timing. It's all about timing, timing in the business yeah. and timing with you. Yeah. Those two exactly. things. So that has a lot to do with it. So mm -hmm. patience. Yeah. So hard for a teenage girl to be patient. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's the hardest thing to ask, but be patient. Yeah. And if it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen. Yeah. 
Hi, my name's Trudy Tapscott, and uh, I think if you're interested in modeling, the first thing that you, you know is that models are tall and skinny. So the first question is, how tall and how skinny do I have to be? And the answer is, you know, depending upon the type of modeling that you're doing, height is important, and being skinny, in good shape, and healthy are important. Um, you know, no one in the business um, that is a legitimate agent is gonna tell you to starve yourself, but if you photographically on film um, don't look good, then that's something that needs to be talked about. Maybe you need to lose five pounds, maybe you're retaining salt, maybe you're, you know, so, but really it goes by measurement more than weight because it's a fit issue. So you have to be able to fit the clothes. So if you're not in the size that you can fit into the clothes, then the designer can't hire you because there's only one, it's not like you go to the department store and there's all sizes, there's one size and there's one look. They're trying to sell that look to all the buyers all around the world so that they can produce it. So that's why the fashion show is six months in advance. They need to know what's gonna sell, what's of interest, so people, what they like. So you have to, that's been created and designed and it's a certain size. Height is, you know, the clothes, the, the length of a model, the proportion of a model is what a designer is looking for, what a casting director is looking for, so height is important. If you're talking about shows, the reason it's important is because everyone's in a line. There's other people involved, it's not just you. So they, they kind of, you know, even though there are exceptions to the rule and not everybody, you know, if you can be anywhere from five, nine to six feet, that's, that's a pretty big variation, but you're still tall. That's still taller than the average person, um, at least in America, that's taller than the average person. So, the, you know, modeling is not the average. You're not supposed to be average. You're supposed to be um, something that people look at and sort of a fantasy of, of what beauty is. So you have to be thin and you have to be tall. Those are, those are the things that matter in the business. Um, but you also have to be healthy. You know, you could be a, 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 a tall, thin girl, but there are thin people that look too thin. And I think that, you know, you, you have to be able to, you're, some people, their body is naturally thin. If your body is not naturally thin, you can't starve yourself to be that skinny person. It all goes back to what type of model are you? Because if you are someone who's gonna model athletic clothes, then you don't wanna be as skinny as a model who's modeling fashion. So, because you don't look necessarily athletic. Um, so, you know, I think that you know, there's two things that are not true about models when it comes to um, weight. And that is that they, um, that they don't eat and they starve themselves. I think that they limit their intake when it's before a, a fashion show season. I think during show season, they don't, they're so busy, they don't have a lot of time to eat, so they get thinner. But when they're shooting pictures, you, nobody wants to see someone who, you know, you can see their bones when they're, when they're shooting lingerie or bathing suits. So it's about being a healthy, tall, thin, beautiful woman. Hi, my name's Trudy Tapscott. And I'm Britt Bergmeister. And models have a lot of pressure on them for, uh, to be in great shape, um, to be able to fit clothes. You know, you, you, it becomes very specific, your arm muscles, your, you know, the muscle of your thigh muscle, like everything becomes very focused. And what happens in doing that in order to do your job, you become sometimes very over-focused on your physical self. And that is your tool and that's your machine that you're selling. So you have to be serious about it and you have to be focused, but you also have to be balanced and you have to nutritionally be balanced and you have to be healthy. Mm -hmm. I think that our industry has taken a lot of initiative um, to try and help models not overreact. You know, a client, the power of what a client says to a new model is incredibly powerful. Um, and it just takes one person to say one thing about a pant not fitting right or a skirt not fitting right and it becomes internalized in a way that can be very harmful to them. So, you know, they're taking in a lot of information, they're taking in a lot of opinions, a lot of people are, you know, they get picked apart all day long. So then they can't help but picking themselves apart. So it becomes a little bit dangerous. 
They do have to stay in shape. They do have to eat well, and they mm -hmm. have to be um, have the right measurements. So how to do that? If someone says you need to lose a little bit of weight, how do you do that and be healthy? And I think that you know, fashion shows have started having more food backstage. I think that there's health initiatives. I don't think anyone's encouraging anyone to lose too much weight or you know, um, the big bad word of eating disorders. You don't you know, no one forces that upon you. But the internalizing of information, of image, of what people say to you is the first beginning of the problem. And so you have to be able to interpret that information in a good way for yourself and your agent. People will tell you, you know, people are constantly giving you information about how you look, how you dress, how your hair is, what you did wrong, what you did right, what the client said. It's always about feedback. You can imagine if you go on, you know, eight appointments in a day, you're walking in, you're seeing people, you don't know what they think. So you want feedback. Sometimes you don't want the feedback because it's, it can, it's not helpful. So I think that nutrition is important. I think that staying in great shape is important. I think it's about balance. I don't think it's about, um, you know, going on crash diets and starving yourself. I think that if you're consistent and you're disciplined and you're balanced, that you, you, you naturally get into a rhythm that serves you properly for the business and you stay in great shape. I don't know how it is. Yeah, when you're... I mean, with me um, coming to New York, I was told I had to lose a little bit of weight, um, and I thought, oh no, I'm gonna have to starve myself, not be able to eat, and I was really nervous because I like food. Um, <laughs> so I, you know, I signed up with a trainer, and the first thing she said was, okay, you're not gonna starve yourself because that doesn't last realistically. Um, sure, you may get skinnier, but in a year you'll be done. So, you know, we worked on my diet. It, it wasn't a diet, it was more we changed my diet and my lifestyle of eating. Um, so I was eating way more than I used to, it was just a lot healthier. A lot of salads, vegetables, protein, chicken, fish, um, and yeah, we cheat sometimes. I have cake every once in a while, but you know, it's about, as Trudy said, balance and working out and being healthy, feeding your body what it needs. You know, I have um, kind of an athletic body, but I know I try and um, make that work for me and um, my legs will be a bit mu more muscular than some girls, but it's important not to compare yourself. You're in an industry where you're with the top, like, skinny girls, you know, in the industry. So just be yourself. You're, you're um, you know, you're a model for a reason and it's important to be true to yourself. And um, if a client doesn't like that, one client, don't get down. There's hundreds of other clients that will book you for who you are. So um, definitely don't think you have to starve yourself because you it doesn't last and the best models in the world, Linda Evangelista, um, Coco Rocha, um, all the supers, they are all still models because they're healthy, you know. Mm -hmm.